Meanwhile, I have the other corner here. Get a side done. They have adjustability. It's one of the updated hinge designs for the, the enclosure. So for these to go on, there's one of these screws that has to come out and it's the top one on both of the corners. Faster. So I printed those hinges that have adjustability. Just like this guy, the door has adjustability up and down because you want to be able to align the, ha the handle to that spot right there. In order to keep the, the hinges aligned, I'm just holding the door up in the closed position and then tightening down the screws in the back. So I'm getting the rest of this assembled and the part where Kind of not clear because it's hard to see the shape of everything in the instructions. So you take the stock cover off, which is right here. Take the stock cover off. Uh, you take this little clip off, the wire comes out, and then you put the new one on, and it has a bolt uh, threaded uh, nut right there. You screw this in, but this is the part that's, that you have to get done properly. So you run the black cable in here first. Uh, and then you run it out the top of there. It fits through the segment right in there. And then you just put it back how it was. And I've got it clamped down uh, to where there's as much slack in here as possible. Then you run the PTFE tube. But before you do that, they have you change the ninth link, change it backwards. And then you take the... Uh, PTF tube out and then put it into your extruder there. Put the cover back on and you're good. So I have the, the side mount filament holder because I wanted to have room and not have to reach back every time. Uh, so the this is a little bit different than what comes in the Flash Forge's official uh, diagrams. And so you string the, the wire out and it plugs in underneath and then you screw it down there. So unlike my K2, the uh, Bowden tubes, where they fit in, they have these little clips so that you can't accidentally press this in and release the, the tube. So they just, if you're trying to press it down and it won't come out, you got to take this little guy out and it's really easy. They just clip right on. Alright, everything is together. I used some two-sided tape for this, the stock setting here. It interfered with that, otherwise everything's good.